Hey there, it's Crafty Jennabug. It's another December Ember Day. We're getting closer and closer to the end, and I'm going to be so sad when it's over. But not, not now. We're not going to focus on that now. Right now, we're going to focus on this prompt list. So, in case you don't know, December Ember is a daily ephemera inspiration list that takes place during the month of December. For 25 days. It is hosted by 49 Dragonflies and Louisa Heinzel. They are amazing. I have linked their Defender Umber playlists down below. If you have any interest in junk journaling, I suggest you check them out because they are incredible. So, today I am working on day 22. So hard to believe. The prompt is water and envelope insert. And the animal of the day is the hamster. Isn't he cute? How cute is he? Now, this card um, was offered by Louisa as a freebie to download all the different animals that were featured in the different daily prompts. So if you want that, you can find it on her um, Defender Ember playlist. I'm going to use this guy today have a plan. So Louisa and Barbara's videos, they made him swimming. They actually did a very similar thing and put like a little life preserver on him and had him go swimming in the ocean. I think it was the ocean. It looked like the ocean. I didn't want to do the exact same thing, but I want to make him swimming. And so my plan for him, I'm going to fussy cut around him. So it's just him, not on the card. Let's get rid of this, we don't need it. And then, remember this guy? This is a coin envelope I made on day four. I added the four. And I wanna make a card to go in it, because it's an envelope, and I'm making an envelope insert. To me, that means something that you would insert into an envelope. So I wanna make a card to fit in here. It's very water themed. And I want to make it look like he is scuba diving. So I have more of this paper that I used for the background on the seahorse. And it just, it looks so watery if you take the butterflies out. So I'm going to use that as a background. And then I have some packaging from a doll my daughter has. And this is like really nice thick plastic. I'm going to make a little bubble helmet for my little hamster. I think that's going to be absolutely adorable. I can't wait. <laughs> He's going to look so cute. And I'm debating on making some flippers for his feet, but we'll see. I might not do that much. I got a, I got a little bit to do here. Now, as far as water is concerned, I might, I mean, this looks like it's underwater. Is that a cop out? Not sure, but it looks like it's underwater. I think I might just let that be the water. Because it, it'll be obvious he's underwater once he's there. So I'll work on that. Maybe I'll spray some water. <laughs> Anywho, that's the plan. I'm going to get to it. First thing I need to do is measure how big this needs to be. See, that looks like an underwater scene to me. I love it. That can go in there. Then I need this to be sturdier, so I want to back it on some cardstock, maybe? We go find some cardstock that'll work. I found this pretty blue cardstock, and I will glue it down. the glue dries on that, I am going to figure out how big I want his helmet to be. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. I 
I love him. <laughs> I love him. Okay, I gotta come up with the thingy too. So let me fussy cut around him and then I will be back. How cute is he? This little diving helmet. <laughs> I'm gonna make some silver, uh, like a silver collar for it also. But in the meantime, I decided I need, he needs something to be diving towards. So I'm gonna make a little, um, what you call it? A treasure chest with treasures. And I'm gonna use this gray wood grain paper because I thought that would look good underneath the water. Although it's a little, it's a little gray. Mm, I don't know, we'll see. So I've gotta cut out a little treasure chest. I could always maybe use, you know, would this make it? Browner, potentially. Eh, maybe. Would that look better? Mm -mm, not sure. Anywho, I'm gonna draw a treasure chest. <laughs> figured out. Let's get my little hamster out of the way so he doesn't get painted on. And I've got a few things going on that I want to paint. I've got my little silver, or I've got my little collar for the diving helmet, and that's going to be metallic silver. I'll go ahead and take care of that right now. And then I have the treasure chest, I actually want to water down the paint, I think. And I have this chocolate brown color. It's a very thin paint, but I'm going to water it down just a little bit so that hopefully you can still see the wood grain. that dry and then while those are drying I want to make like an like a bottom of the lake a, a pond what you know since since these turtles are obviously in a pond I want to make the bottom of the pond to go you know it looks like he's the little hamster has swam, swam down, swam, has swam down to the bottom to get this treasure at the bottom of the pond. So, got a few different colors. I've got this khaki color. I've got country tan, and I can also use some of the um, the silver and the dark, you know, the watered down brown. dry. This is almost dry and then I'll paint the gold on it. This. I think it's quite obvious this is underwater, right? So I don't need to add any water.
little diving helmet is so cute. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love him so much. <laughs> He's so cute. He's swimming. He's doing his little swimming thing. Aww. Kind of want to show the rivets. I love it. I love it. So water, envelope insert, hamster. It's pretty simple. So my glue isn't dry yet, otherwise I would stick it in here. But it will go in there. I'm so excited. <laughs> Oh, I love it. It's another short, sweet one. But I'm getting to the point where I can't really devote a lot of time to these like I want to because of life getting in the way. So they might all have to be short and sweet from here on out. I do have a cool idea for the next prompt, though. So Not that this wasn't a cool idea. I really like this. He's swimming down to get a treasure chest. And on the back, there's some journal space, which I like. So, yeah, short and sweet, very simple, but I like it. I think it's adorable. He's just so cute. So there it is. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really enjoyed this. It was a lot of fun. Very cute and fitting since he's diving down to the bottom of the pond and he's gonna go in this envelope from day four so yeah thanks for watching thank you louisa and barbara for another fun prompt and we will see you tomorrow for another defemember project have a great day bye